introduce yourself and what you do in the band. Uh, my name is Mark and I play guitar and for the series kids. Um, what's the meaning behind the band name? Uh, we just wanted something that kind of wouldn't give away like our uh, style of music. It's something that kids could relate to, you know. It's uh, always fun for them to like go tell their parents their favorite band name and you know, the parents don't understand it and stuff, so I think it's just a fun band name, you know, we're fun guys. So. Um, what's your music influences both personally and as a band? Um, as a band, I mean, it kind of all ranges. We're kind of everywhere from dubstep to rap to country to hip-hop to rock, um, singer-songwriter. Uh, personally for me, uh, Third Eye Blind is a big influence, the starting line, just a little more chill rock band. So. Um, how did everybody in the band meet? Uh, me and Kyle are actually stepbrothers, and we had a band, and Jonathan was in it also, and uh, Caleb and Austin were in a band, and just being in the same local scene, you play with each other, you get to know each other, and we just kind of met randomly like that, and uh, one day both of our bands were kind of at a standstill, and we just came together and started playing. Um, what's your favorite song to play live on? There gotta be. I mean, the new songs are awesome because we haven't really played them much, and it's it's great to see the crowd's reaction. Um, Life of the party or crossroads would probably be mine. Um, what's the biggest crowd you played for, and where was it? Um, when we do overseas festivals, usually the crowds are like insane, like Soundwave and Summer Sonic, Australia and Japan, like 10,000 kids out there. It's crazy. Um, What's the most memorable show you've played? Chicago is always really memorable because when we do the House of Blues there, it's like uh, on springs kind of. So when everyone's jumping up and down, like it shakes the whole building. It's crazy. Um, besides Texas, where's your favorite place to play? Texas is always the best. Florida is always fun because there's a lot of hardcore kids there, so they, uh, you know, the shows are always extra crazy. Where's one place you have yet to play? Alaska. That is the last state we haven't been to. So we gotta go to Alaska. How many kids do you think will show up? I don't know. I don't know. Um, who takes the longest to get ready? Uh, Jonathan and Kyle, all the time, every time. Um, when you guys are in a, were in a band, um, who was not allowed to drive and why? Uh, Kyle, actually. I have never driven the van on tour, uh, just because I don't like to drive. But John, I mean, Kyle was driving, and we were driving through mountains, and it was real foggy, and he was going like 80 miles an hour, and like there was like warning signs for deer everywhere. And he was, his thought process was, if a deer comes out in front of me, I'm gonna go so fast that I'll just explode it. Yeah. But yeah, he drove for like three hours, and then like we woke up in the middle of the night because he like shaking and going so fast and we made him pull over and he can't drive anymore. Um, what's the weirdest thing that a fan has said to you or given you? I don't know, we get crazy stuff all the time. Fans will just bring us like baskets of candy and tons of food. So I mean, every day it's kind of, you don't know what you're going to get. We got a robot made out of Capri Sun boxes once. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. yeah. Capri Sun blankets. You guys are big. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that like you needed a merch person for a photo and that was like the first thing you had to have like Capri Sun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what's the craziest thing that's happened out there? Um, when we were in uh, Pittsburgh, uh, like a year or so ago, it was it was when uh, one of their sports teams like won won a big game. And so the whole crowd, I mean, the whole town was going nuts. Like everyone was drinking at bars and people were getting crazy. And uh, a dude was drunk and he ran across the top of our bus screaming. So that was pretty funny. Um, who's the most responsible in the band and who's the least? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't want to toot my own horn, <laughs> but I might be the most responsible. Uh, That's a tough one for the least, yeah. It might be a tie race. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all yeah, crazy yeah. people, like that one. Um, 
in a zombie attack, who would die first and then and who would die last? Well, that's pretty easy. Uh, me, Caleb, and Austin. And Kyle dabbles in it too. But uh, Caleb is probably the most zombie pro. I'll give that to him. But uh, we play uh, Nazi zombies a lot on Xbox, so we uh, try to prepare ourselves, you know. So Jonathan doesn't get much playtime in, so I mean, maybe he's like a hidden zombie <laughs> killer. I don't know. I haven't seen him in action yet, so. Where's the monkey? Uh, probably go to like a mall, maybe, you know? Yeah, mall would be good. Uh, you could tour with any band. Who would you tour and who would you open? I'd probably tour with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and be a sick, sick person to tour with and definitely would not headline. <laughs> definitely open up. Um, can you, like, your Facebook, Twitter, is your YouTube? Yeah, yeah, you can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash forever the sickest kids. Um, Twitter dot com slash official FTSK and our website is forever the sickest kids dot com. All of our news and everything will go up on there, so check it out. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, well, thanks.